Hello to everyone, this is Vishal and now today we have another tutorial that is related to your data binding fragment. So I will show to you that how we can bind our data on your fragments and hope all are doing good and I'm uh, happy and uh, really appreciate that you are watching my videos and uh, put commands on that and you have some queries. So uh, I promised you that I will um, solve your queries or whatever you want. I will upload it in a future uh, videos so you must carry on this tour with me so I, I, I will explain you more uh, about it and in a depth so today I explained to you how we can bind our fragments because of in some of uh, our apps we are using that on a single activity we can call the multiple views and multiple views happens only for using the fragments but how we can uh, bind our fragments with the other different models uh, so I will explain to you that just like uh, if you have a user model or if you have a, a songs model or likewise that so we can use the multiple fragments on that case but the important thing is how we can bind it and i have seen some queries some some users also want that how we can bind it so this video um, i'm making for them also because of uh, uh, i have to sort out the issues um, related to your commands so today we have a data binding fragment so for this uh, uh, i'm choosing this uh, bottom navigation uh, activity in which we can use the multiple fragments so now we have to start the project okay so we have to start uh, that is we have a new project and say data binding fragments example so we give the name to this project and also we have to choose uh, just a minute we have to go for the previous yes we have to choose such activity in which we can call the multiple fragments so here we have a uh, and in Red Studio, that's the bottom navigation activity. So that's the default. I have, uh, uh, I want to choose this so you can call the multiple fragments in it. So say next and give the name to the main activity and just wait for a loading. Okay, so this thing. Uh, so before that, I'm just explaining to you that everything should be in a fragment is on a create view. So we have to bind data on create view because of as we work with our activity or if you see my previous tutorials of data binding there we have worked with the uh, just such on create method in which we call this or we can bind our activity by the name of that particular so same thing we here here we have a fragment name and then we call the bind method be here so how uh, now it's already be there okay and uh, we have to close the previous project okay it's loading just wait for a minute and once it's loaded then we'll start it so till this is your main activity okay so now I am doing some changes in this uh, layout I want to be a relative layout at this time and uh, here this is your text view and make it as in a match parent and do not want any constraint be here just okay and this is your parent top uh, true and text size b 30 dp and text style be bold and text color be mm, I'm making white okay so that's it on the for the bottom navigation 
make it as a match parent do not need any margins and background be the same and do not need any constraints so the same thing be here and uh, make it as a bottom parent true okay and one more thing i have to take because of we have to hold the fragments so we need a holder so i'm making a linear layout as a holder match parent wrap content and uh, centering parent true and also be it's on a below of your masses that means after the text and here we have a um okay make it a id for this and id we can say it's fragment container and it demands orientation so make it vertical so easy so these three things we have and uh, you have to change your background be as a mm, color primary okay so let's see the design okay and uh, one more thing gravity center so everything is fine now this is our main activity be done so for your fragments we need to and your model what we need we need a package in which pack in, in, in this package I have to create view models you have to put all your models for the fragments and here we need a, a package for your fragments so easy so here you have a fragments and I have to call uh, one new fragment that is a blank and give the name to this fragment as a one and do not need any methods because of I'm, I just want to show you the call of a fragment in your main activity and the bind data so this finish and here you have to make your model so I'm making a user model okay so these are view model that is called a user model and here I want be the name this name and pass okay and here you have to uh, generate your constructor with a name and a password and in future if you want be something your get setter so make it as a getter setter be here for both okay so this is our model be ready because of uh, rest of the things on the deep uh, base observable and this B uh, we have already work on previous tutorials I'm just showing to you how we can use the simple user model on your fragment so this is your fragment one and this is your fragment xml so i need some changes in it so just be you make it according to your linear one or whatever you want i'm just making uh, for this project so this is a background i'm giving the background so we can see the color of any color be here and this is your wrap content and uh, we have to bind on data on the text and your android layout gravity center and uh, text uh, style be a bold and uh, also okay and uh, margin top be 20 dp the same thing for your text view second for the name and the pass okay so let's see yeah and one more thing we needed gravity center center okay that's fine so these are linear layout be ready and the most important thing is we have to make it as a 
data binding enabled true and sync it so easy now till it sync we go to your fragment and make this what happened here sorry it's enabled okay so here we have a layout and uh, would this be here so and this layout be your here and this is your data and this is your variable and give the name to this variable be as a mm, user model and com dot data binding example view models user model just simple and one more time we have to uh, rebuild it because of um, maybe some issue with this let's check so this is our fragment be ready and how we can use it on your uh, fragment create view that i will show to you okay so everything is fine okay so what to do for this you can see that here you have a fragment mm. binding so here so if you have a fragment 2 it showed you the fragment 2 binding if you have a fragment 3 so there be is the same as your activity binding it, it shows the same name so uh, this is our fragment one binding and the most important thing how we bind it so in our uh, activity what we did we use the set content view but here it's it has already be a parent that is a parent activity so we have to put this fragment binding on the container so do not know needs here we have create views and the create view is working with always be on your inflator so we have a inflator so we have to put this view on your container uh, in your activity that means your parent activity so what to do you just use simple inflate and here we have a parameter in your on create view that's pure inflate and this is your which we have to inflate this is our r dot layout dot fragment one and nothing we have a on the parent side and uh, we have a false we just inflate this view and bind this view <coughs> for your parent okay so everything is fine and now uh, we have to bind the data here so for binding the data on your fragment one we need a view that's we are doing simple and that that we here a uh, get root fine and as we have to return the things but before returning we need to put some values on your user model so new user model and i'm giving my name here the same thing be here and you have to return just simple view okay so that's the thing and this is the way to use your 
fragment binding on your view so if you have other fragment it call the fragment binding to and your model news model or likewise this other model or songs model whatever you want you just put it here okay so this is our fragment one be ready our user model be ready our fragment be done but here we have to use a user model dot name okay so that's the most important because of we have to show this thing and here yes and one more thing i have to change uh, this fragment container i think i put it the center in parent yeah that's already be center in parent and below this okay that's fine so everything is ready but on a main activity i need some changes because of i want a fragment here so uh this is your private mm, fragment but i'm using the support v4.app fragment okay so this is and for this uh, one more thing we needed that is called your fragment mm -hmm. manager so on create i have to make this fragment manager as a get support fragment manager as you um, doing generally when you call your activities uh, sorry i call your fragments in your activity okay and at this time i'm i'm not uh, using this uh, because of i'm working with on a single fragment so just return a single value be here so no need of this and here true okay so for this um, fragment manager we need a fragment transaction so fragment uh, transaction fragment transaction we have to begin the transaction so for the fragment transaction dot begin okay and this fragment transaction dot either we have to replace or add so here because of you have a multiple fragments you will work on that so I think it's good you have to replace it and replace for what this is your id dot fragment container in which you have to put your data or hold your fragments be there okay and here this is your fragment and we have to commit i think you are doing the same for the fragments and um, on this choice we have to call a fragment as a new fragment one so everything is ready here and uh, we have to call mm, yeah okay this is your main activity fine okay so just run this journey motion and let's see okay so i think it's very simple and you will i think you have to work on the other fragments also in the same manner uh, then see that what happened uh, if you use the multiple fragments on this activity okay so simple very simple you just make a activity this is your fragment this is your fragment in which we have to bind it so this is your fragment xml uh, which you have to bind for the user model and then you have to return the view as an up binding of this method and once you bind the user model on your fragment one it showed to you that this is a fragment one binding if you use any fragment two that it showed you the fragment two binding likewise very simple and then you can set your user any model which you want to use and just simple okay so now we have to run this and let's see what happened 
okay so let's see what happened here okay so these are activity bottom navigations click on this yeah so you can see this your binding values be here so same thing you work with for your other fragments and uh, so you you must try this and i also upload this on on a github so you can download the project